hello guys welcome to civil concept and uh, in this video i will show you how to calculate quantity of bricks cement and sand in a compound wall okay so for this i have created a model uh, in 3d model uh, as 30 by 20 float okay so uh, the longer side is 30 feet and the shorter side is 20 feet and we have to calculate the number of bricks quantity of cement and sand for this compound wall okay so let's start our video first of all we have given the information like calculate the quantity of bricks cement and sand in a compound while having length 30 feet okay so i have already told you that length is 30 feet and width is almost 20 feet okay and height above the floor of wall is 5 feet with 5 inch width okay so you can see in this 3d the height above this this land this floor is how much 5 feet and above this this is uh, its width is how much 5 inch okay but below this uh, land is how much 10 inch width and uh, uh, 10 inch width and height is 3 feet okay so given uh, in the information you can see in this section okay so this uh, wall above this floor is 5 inch and uh, wall below this floor is how much 10 inch okay so let us see the given information is height above the floor wall is 5 feet and 5 inch width and high below, height below the wall uh, ground is how much 3 feet and with 10 inch width okay clear so and uh, size of bricks taken is 190 into 990 by 90 mm okay so this is the standard size of the bricks you can take the different uh, size of bricks and it may be uh, vary with the help uh, place to place okay so for now i am taking the size of brick is 190 by 90 by 90 mm size okay now uh, first in first step what will you do we will calculate the volume of wall okay so we have to calculate the total volume of this wall okay this total volume of wall so how will we calculate we will calculate total length of this wall into height into width okay so total length of the this wall will be how much 30 feet 30 feet 20 feet and 20 feet how will be how much will be 30 30 60 80 and 20 is equals to 100 feet okay so total length of this wall will be 100 feet so i am putting here above the ground level l into b into h length of wall is 100 feet b which is width of wall is 5 inch so we have to divide by 12 to convert into feet okay because this uh, its unit is in feet so 5 divided by 12 it means 5 inch divided by 12 it will be converted into feet because 1 feet is equals to 12 inch and this 5 is the height of this wall above the ground this is above the ground for uh, we have to calculate multiply it and we will get how much 208.3 cubic feet okay now again below the ground what will be length is again 100 which is same and the width is 10 and again divided by 12 and 3 is the height of this wall and after calculating we will get how much 250 cubic feet okay so after calculating all this uh, quantity of bricks above the ground and below the gr uh, ground we have to add both so adding both 208.3 plus 250 will be how much total volume of wall will be how much 458.3 cubic feet okay and after converting it into meter cube we, we will get how much 12.98 cubic meter okay guys so here is mistake you have to write here cubic meter uh, after adding this and this we will get how much 458.3 cubic feet and when we convert it into cubic meter then it will be converted into 12.98 cubic meter okay so uh, we have to go into step uh, 2 okay so in first step we have calculated the total volume of wall in meter cube okay so in step 2 calculate the volume of bricks without motor okay so we have to calculate the volume of single bricks without motor so size of bricks is this much okay l into b into h here in uh, size of bricks is 190 uh, 90 and 90 mm okay so we have converted it into meter so the divided uh, if we divide it by 1000 then it will be converted into meter okay so 190 divided by 1000 will be 0 0.19 and uh, in the same way we have calculated all this and after multiplying all this l into b into h we will get how much 0 0.001539 
cubic meter okay so now we have to calculate the volume of bricks with motor in step 3 okay so previously we have calculated the volume of bricks without motor now we will calculate with motor okay so if we assume 10 mm thickness of motor then we have to add all this 10 mm into all length width and height okay so adding this 10 mm to length width and height it will be 0 0.22 and this uh, width will be 0 0.100 and this will be 0 0.100 after adding 10 mm to each of the length uh, width and height okay so after calculating again we will get how much 0 0.002 cubic meter which is the volume of bricks with motor okay guys now in step number four what will you do calculate the number of bricks and the main things from here begins okay so calculate the number of bricks how will you calculate the number of bricks and this is the formula divide volume of wall by volume of bricks with motor okay so volume of wall we have calculated how much 12.98 in previous step number one 12.98 meter cube okay guys and after that uh, we have to divide by number of uh, sorry volume of bricks with motor so volume of uh, bricks with motor is 0 0.002 we have calculated already so total will be how much 6490 number of bricks we require to construct this wall okay compound wall so we have calculated what we have calculated the uh, volume uh, number of uh, bricks okay now we have to calculate the weight uh, sorry we have to calculate the volume of sand and cement okay so in step 5 what will you do calculate the weight volume of motor okay so first of all we have to calculate what volume of motor how will we calculate we have to subtract the number of bricks into volume of one bricks of uh, one bricks without motor from volume of wall okay so volume of wall total volume of wall we have calculated how much 13 okay so in previous uh, uh, previous step 12.98 okay 12.98 and we can assume it approximately 30 okay uh, 13 okay so here i have mentioned 13 okay you can also write 12.98 it's not uh, great uh, but uh, uh, if we take more then it will be better okay so 12 uh, 12.98 can be written as 13 and number of bricks we have calculated how much 6490 and number uh, volume of one bricks without motor we have calculated 0 0.001539 okay so after calculating all this we will get how much 11.99 which will be uh, sorry this will be our 2.99 okay uh, 2.99 cubic meter and it will be how much 3 cubic meter approx okay so i have written here you can write here 2.99 or uh, rem let remain it uh, 3 cubic uh, meter approx okay so guys you have calculated what volume of motor is 3 cubic meter okay now in step number 6 so in step number 6 calculate the dry volume in uh, previous step we have calculated the weight volume so we have to convert it into dry volume of motor okay so guys remember that to convert it into uh, dry volume we have to add 32 to 34 percent of the weight volume okay so weight volume is 2.99 okay and i have added here and i have added here uh, 34 percent okay so 34 after adding 34 percent uh, we have to multiply it 1.34 uh, and we will get how much total 4 cubic meter okay approximate value okay so uh, this will be 4 meter cube uh, of the dry volume of the motor okay now assume the ratio of cement is to sand in a motor okay so our 4 meter cube uh, dry volume contains one part of cement and four part of sand and it may be different according to your design according to your requirement okay so it may be five okay it may be five it may be six okay for now i am taking here one is to four for compound wall okay now in step number seven okay so here we will uh, right here step number seven calculate volume of sand and cement okay so we have calculated the number of bricks now it's time to calculate the volume of sand and cement okay so volume of sand will be how much sand ratio okay sand ratio is one 
and uh, divide by 1 plus 4 why because we have taken the ratio of cement is to sand is equals to 1 is to 4 if you had taken 1 is to 5 then it will be also change 1 1 plus 5 okay so uh, remember this carefully okay 1 is to 4 and into dry volume okay so dry volume we have calculated how much 4 okay so putting all these values sand ratio is 4 and 1 plus 4 is equals to 5 multiply by dry volume which is 4 and after calculating it we will get how much 3.2 cubic meter okay so this is the volume of sand guys okay now again we have to calculate the volume of cement and i have uh, symbolized it bc volume of cement okay so cement ratio is 1 again here you can see 1 divided by 5 multiply by what dry volume and dry volume is not 16.8 dry volume is 4 okay again you can see here dry volume is 4 and after calculate uh, calculating it we will get how much 0 0.8 cubic meter okay so guys this is the volume of cement and this is the volume of sand okay so uh, we have a uh, volume of cement but we uh, get a uh, cement from market in number of bags okay so we have to convert it into number of bags for this we have to multiply with its density okay so this is a volume and if you multiply it with density of cement then it will be converted into weight okay which is in kg so weight of cement will be how much volume into density of cement and volume we have calculated 0 0.8 cubic meter and density is 1450 uh, sorry 1440 which is we have to remember and uh, after calculating we will get how much 1152 kg okay and when we divide it by 50 which is the uh, number of bags contained number of cement kg of cement uh, in one bag of cement okay so one bag of cement is equals to 50 kg so when we divide this weight by 50 we will get how much 23.04 bags of cement okay guys so in summary what we have get we have got the number of uh, uh, bricks is 6490 and uh, uh, a volume of cement uh, sorry sand is 3.2 cubic meter and bags of cement is 23.04 bags of cement okay guys to construct these types of compound wall okay and we have not assumed here any opening okay so if you have any opening on this uh, compound wall then you can uh, cancel we have uh, we have to deduct this area okay so in this way we can calculate the uh, number of uh, uh, bricks uh, uh, quantity of cement and sand in the compound wall okay finally guys i am showing you very useful website uh, which can calculate these materials in a second okay so you have to go on www.civilconcept.com okay so here you can see www.civilconcept.com and after uh, clicking on this website you you will see you will reach on this website one two three four okay and uh, when we uh, see in number six it will be estimator and you have to go on the r r number okay so this is a compound wall click on the compound one compound wall and you will reach on this uh, page okay so length of wall uh, you have to input all the dimension of the wall and bricks and you will get the answer okay so let us check according to this value okay so first of all our length uh, uh, of the wall is almost 30 30 60 and 100 feet okay so we will put total length of the wall is of how much 100 feet because 30 feet is one side 30 feet is another side 20 and 20 is another side so uh, adding all we will get 100 feet okay height of wall above the floor is how much 5 feet okay so uh, let us check 5 feet okay so 5 feet and width is 5 inch so put here 5 feet and width of wall above the floor is 5 inch and select here inch okay inch height of wall below the floor is how much let us see height of below height of wall below 3 feet and 10 inch width so put here uh, height of wall below floor is 3 feet uh, let it remain in feet width of wall below the floor is how much 10 inch okay so select here inch okay and uh, bricks length uh, of uh, bricks is how much 190 mm and uh, this is the uh, standard size of the brick and it may be vary okay it may be blocks and uh, length width will be changed ratio of cement and sand is 1 is to 4 if you have another then you can change it 1 is to 5 1 is to 6 or 1 is to 4 okay so thickness of mortar i have assumed is how much thickness of mortar we have assumed uh 
where is thickness of mortar here 10 mm okay so put here 10 mm 10 mm and just hit enter uh, calculate okay so uh, just uh, by clicking on calculate we'll get answer in one second guys okay so number of bricks is how much 6490 okay so uh, let us let us check here number of bricks is 6490 okay it is correct and uh, quantity of sand is 3.2 meter cube okay so quantity of sand is how much we have calculated 3.2 wow very nice and after that uh, quantity of cement is 1154 kg and 23 bags of cement so let us check this also 1152 kg and 23 bags of cement okay guys so this is very important uh, useful tools if we are civil engineer and if you want to uh, calculate the quantity of uh, cement uh, sand and number of bricks in short time okay so guys this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you